And joining us now is Arlen Suderman, who is with uh, FC Stone INT. INTL FC Stone. The INTL FC Stone. There we go. I, I knew we'd get all those initials in, but uh, Arlen, always uh, great to catch up with you. And uh, as we kind of look at the broad range of uh, what's going on, looking at 2019, uh, is there a way to describe all the highs and lows of what uh, 2019 brought us? You know, in four decades of working in agriculture, it's probably one of the most challenging and the most fascinating from an observer standpoint, most frustrating from a producer and an end user standpoint as well. Everything that we've thrown at these uh, markets uh, between the weather problems, the production problems, the China up and downs of the trade relations and everything, very frustrating and it continues to be so with so much of the crop still in the field. Well and that's the thing, this is kind of the harvest that never ends. We thought many in the Midwest would be uh, spending the holidays in the field. Looks like there were some windows to get that uh, completed but uh, you know our, just our thoughts go out to those in the north that uh, you know they got it in the spring, they had it in the fall and uh, uh, you know it, it kind of it bleeds over to all of us really. Yeah, and you need to have enough protein to dry it. Um, not only corn, but even we're dealing with some soybeans that are having trouble drying down. But uh, it's been one of those frustrating years, not only the ground being muddy, but uh, then the corn being wet as well. Yeah. All right, uh, Ward, we always like to talk to you too about uh, our friend, uh, uh, the, the great wheat crop. Uh, uh, it looks like, I guess, what are you looking at as we look at 2020? it seems to be that there may be some opportunity uh, as we go into winter. There does seem to be. Um, we've got a short crop in Australia. USDA I don't think is fully recognizing that yet. Um, we've got a shorter crop in Argentina than what I think they're looking at. Um, we're starting to see tight, supplies tighten up in the Black Sea. It's dry in parts of the Black Sea region, but it's too early to really say too much about that. Mm -hmm. They could have a good spring right. and still get a good crop. Um, we've had some very cold temperatures of late that may have done a little bit of damage to some of the hard red winter wheat, but overall this crop is starting off incredibly average. When you look at the national mm -hmm. numbers, um, the planting went in about on an average pace, the emergence, the condition of the crop, everything's incredibly average. Nothing there really to stimulate the market. So really looking for that demand to pick up and uh, hopefully we'll be able to see that seasonally here in the months ahead. Incredibly average. I mean, that's uh, that's that's. A, we have to make sure we give you credit for that as well. So, Arden Suderman is joining us with INTL FC Stone. We're going to take a break. Talk livestock in just a moment.